I am a day late, but I am not a dollar short because I channel wealth consciousness. How about you? How are you? Can everybody hear me? Let me just make sure that I'm oops, on my microphone. Yes, I am. Awesome. Doc Robin here. Welcome to Becoming the Channel, the official home of our podcast, which is launching. I'm so excited. Launching tomorrow at 11, 11 a.m. I am a little bit obsessed with numerology right now. So I've always loved 11, 11. And I think that that's a great time to launch a podcast. And the reason that I chose tomorrow is something that I'm going to talk about on tomorrow's podcast, but I will give you a little sneak peek. You see, 23 years ago, tomorrow, March 16th, was the day that my marriage ended. And it was a bittersweet time for me. I was married to my college sweetheart and, you know, we made a good run at things, but really when I look back at that life I was living, I just knew I was, I was not living my life. I don't know whose I was living. I think I was living up to expectations and assumptions about how I was supposed to be doing life, but I certainly wasn't living in alignment with the truth of who I was as an intuitive, intelligent person who was meant to be doing big things with my life. And I wasn't at the time. So March 16th, 2000 was the year that everything kind of came to a head. And that was really a turning point in my life. It was really a day I remember sitting on the couch by myself. My husband had left after us having this big blow up in our, in our marriage. And um, I remember sitting on the couch thinking that it was over and feeling very, um, I don't want to say empty, but it was a very strange feeling, actually, just feeling very at zero. I, here's what I want to say. I felt like I was at zero point, like it was a reset. And so what my intention is with this podcast and bringing this forward tomorrow is to send a message to my past self, the girl who I was, to reassure her that she knew what she was doing, even though it was pretty messy and pretty scary at the time. So I'm excited and I can't wait for you all to listen in, to let me know how it lands for you as we talk about channeling wealth consciousness and you know, becoming the channel really is about becoming yourself. It's about identity development and recognizing and, and actualizing your most important spiritual gifts, which is your capacity to connect in with source consciousness and to channel wealth consciousness in particular. And um, so I'm excited to see what you all think about this. But today is our energy report for the week. And as I said, I'm a day late, but I am not a dollar short because I channel wealth consciousness. So here's the thing that the guides want to talk to you about today, and that is anchoring into the physical, anchoring into the physical. This is a vital part of the actualization process. It's a vital part of manifesting your greatest hopes, dreams, and desires is to anchor into this physical realm. There are an immense number of us who are both intelligent and intuitive, who spend a whole lot of time from the neck up. So we spend a lot of time in our intellect. We start to spend a lot of time daydreaming, imagining, visioning. And this is a good thing. If you identify as a visionary or a thought leader or as an innovator, you spend a whole lot of time up here in your head. Where the disconnect is, for many of us is in anchoring into the physical plane and bringing that vision, bringing your inner knowing, your wisdom into physical form, into physical reality. The way that we do that is by anchoring into the sacral, into the sacral chakra, which is in your reproductive organs. It is really the center point for creativity, for generativity. And yet it's one thing that we're not so good at, especially when you're so used to being in the higher levels, the higher realms of consciousness, whether it's in your intellect or in the, you know, in the angelic or etheric realm in your, in your daydreams.
Oh, you have to love Facebook lives with sneezes. Excuse me. Okay. So in anchoring into your physical body, just as a conscious awareness of dropping into the hips, into the reproductive organs, and allowing your consciousness in that region of your body to communicate with your brain, with your mind, with your eternal and divine self as well. This is one of the great challenges for those of us who are awake, aware, and conscious as we are moving on the, the spiritually intelligent path or the ascension path, is that we still are living in this world. We are still here. We're on this earth plane. And we can be, we can learn how to master being in this, in this world, but not of it. And the best way to do that is to really drop down and anchor into the sacral in order for you to be able to manifest the things that you really want to do to be and to have very quickly. So that's the big message today is about anchoring into the sacral. How do we do that? There are a couple of different ways the guides want me to bring forward today. One is to dance or to do some kind of very flowy movement. Sometimes you can get at it like Pilates and weightlifting and things like that, but anything that brings you into the physical body is super important right now, but to do so consciously. So there are sometimes, you know, I go to the gym four or five days a week and I'm, I'm very active in my life, but sometimes I find my body doing one thing and my brain daydreaming something else. So I'm not really connecting with my physical and maybe you can relate to that. So this week and this time, the, the thing to do is when you are exercising, when you're dancing, when you're moving, be where your feet are. Anchor into your present moment. Be with your body. Your body is meant to be in partnership with your divine and eternal spirit. It is meant to be the sacred home of your divine and eternal spirit. But when we ignore the body, we disregard the body, we neglect the body, as our partner, that disrupts the flow of wealth consciousness, first of all, and it really creates a, a kink in the hose when it comes to manifesting your, your goals. So to speed up that process, the invitation this week is anchor in, anchor into your physical body. You can also use um, some foods are very supportive of anchoring in. They are not, by the way, simple sugars or carbs or even animal protein at all. Plant proteins are very helpful in anchoring the body into the present moment. Drinking purified water with electrolytes in it or with essential oils, also very important and a, and a very good way to anchor into the physical body. And then um, using, um, I'm gonna say non-hallucinogenic mushrooms can be very helpful as well. I like to use lion's mane as a, as a supplement for my, for my focus and attention and intention as I sit in my physical body so that I stay here. And then clearing out any trauma from the physical body is another really important thing to do when you are wanting to manifest more quickly. When you have too much energy of trauma sitting in your system, that creates a major disruption in the flow of your consciousness. And it even creates the possibility of disconnection or I don't want to call it dissociation from your body, but definitely having kind of a loose relationship with your body, I'll call it one where you're here, but not quite present. So in order to bring yourself into full presence, clearing out trauma, working with a trauma informed specialist who can move the energy with and for you who can create transformations in your relationship and perspective on the traumatic event and to even do some soul reclamation and soul retrievals will be a very important piece of the, of the puzzle too, for you as you are on your Ascension journey. Don't ignore the trauma. Um, let's see what else do they want me to say this week? March is still a big month. It's in like a lion out like a lamb. We're in the center. Today is the 15th. We're in the center of the month. It's, I think it's the Ides of March today, actually, isn't it? The 15th. The equinox is coming up in a couple of days. So we're really at a turning point here in the seasons. 
And it, it, was, it really is an opportunity for you to reconnect with the goals that you set, the intentions that you set at the beginning of the year, bring them forward right here, right now, anchor them in, plant the seeds. This is a big seed planting time. The farmers plant the seeds in the springtime and allow them to grow and to blossom and to flourish over the summer months to be harvested in the fall. And so too is the case with your goals and dreams. You want to create a fertile environment for your goals to be anchored in or planted. The fertile environment is your physical body. This is the reason why the guides have been so insistent on talking about anchoring into the physical body. This is not necessarily the easiest thing for those of us who are highly intellectual or highly capable of bouncing in between realms who are spending a whole lot of time in the angelic or etheric realm as well. And yet, we are here for a purpose. We are here for a specific mission, which is, by the way, to anchor light. Anchor light. So this is the invitation for you today. Anchor light, anchor your light in your physical body. And I'll share this story to end. I worked with my energy healer, Jacob, who's amazing. And he, we did a distance session yesterday and he was talking about just anchoring into the sacral as part of my own journey, which is one of the reasons the guides wanted to bring it through today. But later in the day, I took a nap because I, I'm the queen of napping. I'm the queen of self-actualization and the queen of napping, as you probably know, if you've seen my Instagram profile, I took a nap and in my nap time, in my dream time, my guides came and they put a stone an etheric stone in my sacral area. And they said, this is the sorcerer's stone. This is the philosopher's stone, alluding to Harry Potter and the philosopher's stone. And what I took that to mean is just that we think about this, the philosopher's stone as kind of the fountain of youth, but it's also an anchor for me to focus my attention and intention on that area, that region in my body, they anchored it in for me. So I'm sharing that with you because you can actually use your imagination and ask your guides, is there something that I can physically anchor into me <clears throat> on an energetic plane that I can see with my mind's eye, that I can see with my mind's eye and focus on so that I can stay fully embodied in my physical space so that I can plant my seeds here in this here and now moment. All right, that's the message for today. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, leave a comment, say thank you, say what you appreciated about the session, of course. And there are a couple of you who I know are feeling called to be working with me privately. I do still have a couple of spots available in my Becoming the Channel year-long private mentoring program. This is a high-level program for intelligent, intuitive, leaders who are entrepreneurs, business owners, and, and CEOs and executives. If that's you, and you really want to have a conversation with me about that, um, start the start that process by booking a call. Go to drrobinmckay.com forward slash call, and we'll get you set up for a consult to talk about working together. All right. Big love. I will see you all tomorrow for the premiere of the podcast. I'm super excited and I'm so appreciative that you're part of our OGs for the, for the Becoming the Channel podcast. I'm looking forward to communicating with you and connecting with you on this exciting time. All right. See you tomorrow.